Hey you guys, Science here once again with another Borderlands 2 challenge guide. This one's for all you handy dandy vault hunters looking for the southern shelf of Cult of the Vault challenge. This one requires you to find two hidden vault symbols in southern shelf and it will require quite a bit of running. The first symbol is on the top of the bandit encampment found here. It's a very bad angle of the map but you can still use it for some visual reference. This one requires a little bit of acrobatics, and you must have completed the quest to power the elevator. Now seeing this, that is a quest very early on, that shouldn't be a problem, so let me show you exactly how to get to this symbol. First and foremost, go ahead and call down the elevator, hop on, pull the lever, and ride it back up. As soon as you get to the top, here in just a moment, you'll head straight through that door and out the back. Once you make it to the outside deck, turn right towards the snow, and jump on this fallen metal rafter. Once you jimmy your way up that rafter, go ahead and jump over to that beam there. You'll have to do kind of a sideways jump to get there. Turn around, jump to the roof, and just travel across. Drop down onto the little deck there, and you'll find the vault symbol beside of which is a weapons crate. Apparently my assassin needs to lose some weight because he can't fit through that hole. Anyway, mosey on over, press E or your action button, and there you have it. The first symbol out of two. Here I'll show you a view and a map reference of where we're heading next. We're actually heading to that ship over there. And to get this far, you have to at least quest far enough to help Claptrap try to find his ship. I can't remember the exact name of the quest, but you'll figure it out. You'll have to fight your way practically through the entire area until you see a ramp like this. Now this ramp leads up to the boss of the area, and there's a vendor up there, just for reference. What you'll do is you'll jump off the ramp to this area here, then sprint jump your way across. This is where you'll be on the map, just for reference in case you need it. Now that we know where we're at, let's go ahead and sprint jump our way all the way across to the end. Now you'll see that I kind of book it across like a crazed gymnast, but if you're more comfortable with it, you can stop at that section right there. Now this last jump's a little intimidating, but as you can see, you can make it. It might take a few tries, but it's an easy enough symbol to get to. It's just pretty easy to overlook. Once again, I'll give you another map reference so you know where you're going to end up. After which, I will click the vault symbol and get my challenge for Cold of the Vault. I will say that finding this vault symbol was more satisfying than any of the others, as we spent quite a while looking for it before we got distracted doing the uh, Bully Monger Slinger's Hurly Burly Challenge. I actually found this one completely by accident when I was goofing off on my siren in solo, when I wasn't even looking for it. Anyways, there you have it, your Southern Shelf Cold of the Vault Challenge. I hope this guide was helpful, if so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd really appreciate it, and if you're having trouble with a certain challenge, just leave a request in the comments, I'll be sure to get to it soon. Also, you can subscribe for updates on future releases, and check the links above, we've got Facebook and Twitter. I'll be announcing most channel related news on either Facebook or Twitter, just so I can keep these videos uh, short and sweet, and straight to the point. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.